Do you know, all of us are cognitive. There's a pattern in how all of us understand things, how we relate with certain attributes, and how we feel towards certain design elements. Don't believe me? Let's do an experiment. Look at this image for an instance. All of us feel the clockwise movement, right? But let me tell you, it is just an image with no animation. Our brains are trained to see clockwise movement in spiral things. And that is what is happening in this case. It is a classic example of optical illusion in perception theory. From this, you can understand how important psychology is for UI UX designers. That being said, hello and welcome everyone. This is Ria from IntelliPad and today I'm going to explain one of the important perception laws for visual design known as law of proximity. But before we begin, make sure to enable both subscribe button and bell icon for IntelliPad YouTube channel. What is the law of proximity? The law of proximity is a principle in Gestalt psychology that describes how the human eye perceives connections between visual elements. Elements that are close to each other are perceived to be related when compared with elements that are separate from each other. This principle applies even if the elements differ in color, shape, size or other categories. If the term is new to you, the German word Gestalt literally means the way a thing has been placed or put together. Now, this is an illustration for the law of proximity. According to this principle, the three rows of the shapes on the left belong to one group, even though some are different. You'll see the row of the shapes on the right side belonging to a separate group, even though they are the same size and color as the majority of the shapes on the left side. That's because the three rows of the shapes on the left are close together, while the row on the right is further away. The Gestalt laws like the law of proximity are fundamental in user experience design. They can help your visitors understand what they're seeing, find what they're looking for, and take action. Now let's see why the law of proximity is important. Understanding the law of proximity can make it easier to see your website design from someone else's perspective. There are many ways to create something that's appealing to the eye, but it takes empathy, time, and knowledge to create a website that everyone can use effectively. For example, you may have a perfect vision, but what if 60% of your target audience has vision problems? A site with high contrast, targeted use of color, and a clear structure will be easier for them to use. Another example, 38% of consumers First, look at the page layout or navigational links before anything else. How you group and arrange this content on your website makes it easier for your site visitors to reach their goals on your site. Understanding proximity can make you a better designer because it helps you organize information. Let's take a look at the effective use of the law of proximity. The law of proximity can make your website more readable, reduce visual clutter, make your site more dynamic, and help you create the right balance and structure for your site. Now, let's take a look how this applies to UX design. Applying the law of proximity in user experience design is easy. Remember to place related elements near each other and unrelated elements apart. Using the white space to group or separate elements is the key. In a web form, for example, place labels close to the input field so that the user understands how they relate. For example, let me give you a very relatable example of Zomato or Swiggy. You must have seen the burger category is different and the fries category are different. Now there is a thin line of white space that differentiates the two categories. Now that is where the law of proximity is applied on these app. Now let's take a look at the law of proximity examples. First we have grids of objects. This is a very simple way to illustrate the principle of proximity. On the left side, there is one group of shapes. The brain sees this as a single group, though the shapes may be, for example, be different sizes or images of different things because they have been put together. It is implied that they have something in common. On the right, there are two groups of shapes because the space between the two groups is greater than the space between the individual shapes in each group. The brain will see these as two groups rather than one. Now, example number two, list of text. Another way to illustrate the principle of proximity uses text rather than shapes. On the left, the items in the list are spaced and aligned equally. 
This implies that they are all of equal importance and comprise a single group. On the right, there are two lists. Because the space between the list is greater than the space between the individual lines of the text in each group, the brain will see these two as the collection of text rather than just one. Additionally, the list that has been used to indicate some items are further grouped together in support of another. Now let's take a look at example number three, shape and space dependencies. Because the brain is looking for shape and space arrangement to help describe an order of information, it will interpret individual elements of a visual language together, not separately. A simple way to illustrate this is to compare two ways of handling the kinds of widgets we commonly see in the sidebar of a web page. On the left, these two widgets are shown as enclosed elements, where the edges of a shape describe their form. The space between the two indicates that there are two different things, but the proximity between them groups them separately from other elements on the page. On the right, these two widgets are shown as unenclosed elements. Without the edges that would be provided by a surrounding shape, these widgets need more space around them to enable them to be scanned as separate features and still understood as functionally similar. And just with that, we have reached towards the end of this video on law of proximity. That's it for this video. If you like this particular video, make sure to hit that like button. Also to come across more updates like this, subscribe to IntelliPad's YouTube channel. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPad offers UI UX course in collaboration with iHub Divya Sampark, IIT Roorkee. Through this course, you will learn complete UI UX design thinking, interaction designs, wireframing, and guerrilla testing for a rewarding UI UX design career. This UI UX design course will be taught by IIT faculty and industry experts. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out their testimonials on our Achievers channel whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights. So visit the course page link given below in the description and take a first step towards the career growth in the field of UI UX design.